Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with my brother, Nux. Hello. And we're here to talk about some important Fake Grand Order news. That's right. Fake Grand Order San Rio, it's happening. It's happening again. It's happening again. This is a momentous occasion uh, where we're going to talk about every single one of these featured here, and that's going to be today's video. <laughs> No news. No news. This is the greatest of news, though. If you don't know, I actually do like a lot of Hello Kitty stuff. As you can tell, if you actually have been on my channel for a while, I have beaten, like, two Hello Kitty games fully so far on the channel, and one of them was so hard I had to stop. Yes. Uh, but we're big fans of actual Hello Kitty stuff, and we also are big fans of Fake Grand Order. So when my brother showed me this today, I said, holy shit. <laughs> so... We're gonna talk about them. First of all, they're keychains, correct? They're multiple stuff. They're multiple stuff? What is it besides all I saw it's was keychains? It's usually like the usual stuff. You got the clear file folders, you got the little acrylic stands, you have the keychains, mm. you got buttons. Mm, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. And we're gonna do a full look at who actually got picked here for Fake Grand Order. So I'll have, I have a list here right here, but here we go. For Saber, she's of course with Hello Kitty herself. Uh, for some reason, Arthur has Dear Daniel, who is supposed to be the boyfriend of Hello Kitty. Um, but in this case, they're using him as the male version of Hello Kitty. Yes. Now, I, if I remember correctly, actually over the years, whether or not she actually has a boyfriend changes depending on the current season. Basically, are people okay with the idea of Hello Kitty dating? If the answer is yes, she's officially dating. If the answer is no, Hello Kitty's not interested in that and they're just friends. Yes. And Dear Daniel doesn't mind any other way. No, Dear Daniel, nothing bothers Dear Daniel. Not with a haircut like that. <laughs> Dear Daniel's unbothered by everything. Uh, then we have Mash, who has uh, Shaco, which we think that's pretty close to how you actually say his name. <laughs> Pajaco. Yep, Pajaco. We're going to go with That's that. the most American way to say it. It is. It is an extremely American way of saying it, but we've gotten them right there. And then Gilgamesh and Enkidu, uh, they're tied together because uh, Gilgamesh has Kiki and Enkidu has Lala, and they're twins. And I think the best part about this keychain is that they are wearing their outfits right here. It but... I would fail to say that Lala has not changed her outfit at all. At all. It's not her fault that in Kidu, they wear the same fit. Yeah. It is literally the, the same outfit. And the same is actually true for uh, Dear Daniel. Not, uh, I was about to call him Damn Daniel again. Uh, Dear Daniel, Hello Kitty, and Pachaco as well. as They're also wearing the little outfits here. I just like it here because he's holding like his little twin and it's like literally wearing the little costume. This one especially here where he's holding it and he has like little tiny Gilgamesh armor. I think it's hilarious. It's amazing. And then we have Arjuna and Karna, who Arjuna has Karomi, and then Karna has My Melody. Uh, Moriarty has Bad Batsu Maru, which I just call him Bots Maru, but yeah. apparently Bots is supposed to be like Batsu, like a Batsu game. Um, and Because he likes gaming. Yes. And speaking of another amazing name, Sherlock is with uh, Tuxedo Sam. And we were having the conversation beforehand does this confirm that Tuxedo Sam and Bots Maru actually have beef with each other? And that they are eternal rivals similar to Sherlock and Moriarty? Maybe. I, I don't think so. But at the same time, maybe they do. They're both penguins. Both in different popularities. Both boys. Both boys. So you're saying there could possibly be some form of beefs here between them. It's just that like currently understated. It's currently understated, yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see Tuxedo Sam as, like, the good penguin and Bots Maru as the bad penguin. As I was looking at Bots Maru, uh, <laughs> uh, pictures from his, uh, when he was the mascot of FIBA in the world tour, <laughs> there are plenty of people who consider Bots Maru as a, a, as a bad guy, so it's like an angry boy type of, uh, character, so. He's a very sporty boy. Definitely, for sure. Uh, and then we have Jean with Marin Cream, who is also wearing... I like that this outfit for her, by the way, is too big for her. Yes. Like, it's very clear that the outfit that she has for him is too big. And then all, it could also be said right here that all the Fago characters are also wearing... Well, when I'm a living uh, literal Maron, like, I'm just living cream. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I would wear clothes. Fair enough. I guess, if anything, it's a... It's a case to be said that she's wearing any clothes at all at any given point. Yes. Ozzy is with uh, Kora Kora Kurin, or is just Kurin as most people call him, but I'm going to say the full name, just similar to how I said for Bad Bats Maru. 
Um, they picked the one Sanrio character, not probably not the one, but probably one of the most popular ones that is actually all about their wife to make them go with Ozzy, which makes a lot of sense. Yes. Um, and then we have uh, BB with Lolo Romanek. Is that how you actually say it? No. How do you say it? I don't know. Fair. Cherry and Barry are the two dudes here on the same, but they have like an idol team name together, but that's them right there. Merlin is with Cinnamon Roll, and you were telling me specifically that uh, Barry and Cherry are actually the enemies of Cinnamon Roll. Basically. So similar to uh, Bots to <laughs> Botsmaru and Tocito Sam, does that mean that Merlin and BB actually have beef with each other in some kind of capacity? They never interacted with each other before. Not yet. Not yet. Not, but maybe someday. Maybe that's the true ending that they're going for here, is that eventually if the two were to meet... Actually, what would happen if the two were to meet and have some kind of uh, event tied around them, each other. It's kind of hard It's kind of hard to say. Mm. Uh, to be fair, they don't really use Merlin all that often in anything. Yeah, <laughs> that... he's, he's, he just goes back to his tower. What, yeah. what else would he be doing? Yeah, you're right. I mean, in summer, he always just kind of hangs around, but now that I think about it, BB Summer exists and Merlin Summer exists, and they never even bothered to put the two together in any capacity. So, yeah. Then we have uh, Ishtar, who is uh, Shiro, who I've... Sugar Bunnies. Yeah, the Sugar Bunnies, and then Erish Kigal has Kuro, and it's the two bunnies no. here. No. Nope. Ishtar has Kuro. Oh, it's Erish the other one. has Shiro. I messed up on here. Yes. Okay, my bad. I messed up on that one. This one was the brown bunny right here. She Ishtar has the brownish one. Irish Goggle has the white, uh, one. the white one, and you can see her here as well, holding up the little... Um, Dresden. Yes, which is very nice. Very cute detail. And that's the full lineup that we got right here. Um, how are you feeling about them in general, about the choices they picked here, and what they got going for them? It was very strongly leaning into the chapter everyone likes. It was definitely leaning towards uh, Babylonia. Mm -hmm. But then they showed um, Moriarty and, <laughs> and Sherlock. And Sherlock, and then BB is also here. And, you know, now that you think about it, yeah, it is a little bit weird that four of these are Babylonian servants. But I feel like at the same time... Mm, I wonder how much... I wonder if they made sure to keep it specifically only to the first two years. Because if... This went up to date, like to Lost Belt Six. You would think that they would have Morgan somewhere in here. Yeah, I would think Morgan would be somewhere. Yeah, but at the same time, we don't know if this is the only Sanrio stuff. Yeah, no. I, maybe this is like a test water to see, like, hey, let's go. In the previous uh, Sanrio Fate Grand Order collabs, they did like three waves of this stuff. Really? So you think there might be an? Don Test was one of them. You, I have him here. You do? Yeah. Well, Did you forget when we bought all those Sanrio stuff? I maybe I don't remember doing. To be fair, when when what year was it? Because depending on what year it was, there was a lot going on in my life at that specific time. Uh, Two thousand seventeen. There was a lot going on. That was, <laughs> that was. We would still have a house by then. Yeah, that was a long ass time ago. Yeah. I, I I do not remember. To be fair, uh, especially during those specific times. But okay, so they might do an additional waves for this kind of stuff. But in terms of the first, because obviously both, there's a lot of popular fake Grand Order characters that are not mentioned, like I said, specifically Morgan. But then there's also some Sanrio characters that are actually popular that are not featured on here. Like Karopi. Karopi is a big one for sure. Um, Looking at here, there is no... They've pretty much got some of the basic ones down, only there's a few odd ones out. Especially Dear Daniel. Dear Daniel feels like the most, and I say this also knowing that maybe not everyone knows the bunnies as well, but Dear Daniel definitely stands out the most as a, okay, that's a, that's that's an interesting pick. Yeah. Um, if you look at this and put it side by side by the Yu-Gi-Oh one, they definitely didn't use the same cast of it there. Cause like, some of the ones Pum Pum Purin is in here. That's yeah. the other one I was thinking about. Yeah, Pum Pum Purin, which we actually do have the site right here if we want to see some of the more... Uh, famous ones that we got here. Uh, we got some of the famous ones. Oh, I need to look at characters. Yeah, there we go. We got... Choke. These are the... Choco Cat's not here. Choco Cat's not really featured. Gude Tama really doesn't get featured in glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> 
my life. Oh. oh. They're showing the Netflix show. I don't know if we can show that. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't. I want to click play so badly, but I'm. I'm not going to. Who do you think would actually work? You know who would work with Gudetama? Who? Nobu. Guda Gudetama. Gudetama. Exactly. It fits so perfectly with their. It should be a very sluggish person. Though. Uh. Oh, what the hell? Uh, I, I don't know who this guy this is. This one, I was, I was thinking Hangadon. of this one. There we Hangadon. Go. I love my boy Hangadon. He's in the Pokemon uh, style Hello Kitty game that he I was is. looking to He has multiple evolutions on there. But Hangadon is also pretty uh, popular as well. He was also in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Collab, if I remember correctly. He I don't, is. I don't remember if we actually... If he we was didn't get him, I think. <sighs> they were one of the ones they cut because they're like, America's not ready for Hangadon. America doesn't love... Hangidon, Kurom, Kuropi. Yeah, like I see, like it's crazy to me that they could not find someone for Kuropi in this one. That makes me feel like there might be more here than what is featured. Because how do you not have just some Kuropi stuff in there? Yeah, Kuropi's a big name. Who do you think would work with Kuropi in Fate Grand Order? Frog. Frog based. Uh, let's see, let's read his bio. Kuropi lives with his brother, sister, and parents in a big house on the edge of the Donut Pond. The largest and bluest pond around, Kuropi's friends share his love of playing games, especially baseball and boomerang. Boomerang is not something. Boomerang is something Australian. Well, we have uh, one. We have singing. one Australian. There we go. Put them together, foreigner Kuropi. But baseball. <laughs> they had that one baseball uh, card game for April Fools that we're probably not gonna get. That's true. We we didn't get that one as well. I, I, the, the, if we want to go for the Australia one, it definitely makes sense to, to use her. Unfortunately, I'm not remembering the the Wendijing. Wendijing, yeah. We have Wendijing. Wendija. Wendija. There we go. I got there eventually. But I don't know. There's not a very like, Kuropi feeling unit in Fago. Mm. That would maybe. Hmm. I would think maybe Hijikata. Hijikata and Kuropi, that would be kind of a sick combination of games yeah. I would love to see Kuropi in a little Shinsengumi outfit. <laughs> this would be actually be 100% real with you. I think that would be amazing. Uh, let's see, who we have here? Kuromi. Was Monkey Chi not? Oh. Monkey Chi? No. They would not use my Monkey My Melody. My Sweet Piano. I don't know who this is. This might be a new one. Again, my, they have about 5,000 different characters in Sanrio. Pickle. Pickle. I know Pico. I'm not sure if Pico's actually as popular as I think he is, but I have definitely seen him around. I've seen him around. I don't know if he is as popular either. Uh, is this Pom Pom Pern? Oh, Pern. yeah, the Pom Pom Pern, who was Exodia in the in the Yu-Gi-Oh collab. Mm -hmm. No Pom Pom Pern here. Very but weird. But thinking on a Pom Pom Pern unit, it had to be Exodia like. So Who's King, King Hassan? <laughs> King, King Hassan Pom Pom Burn? I was gonna say, if you wanna use Exodia, that's Exodia. That's true. Alright, I can see that. I think Pom Pom Burn and. But I'm thinking you're trying to lean towards someone very legendary, and I know you wanna just say it, Quetzalcoatl. No. And get over with it. <laughs> no, I don't think Quetzalcoatl would fit they have Pom -Pom a very, Burn. They have the very same. Uh, color scheme I think they do actually have the very same color scheme we have to remember that when we use this one Ushaha <laughs> Ushaha to look just at all Sanrio characters this is uh, we're on the shop right now now we're just on the shop looking at Hello Kitty and friends Care Bears there's so much Hello Kitty stuff there is so you don't know how big Hello Kitty is till you look up Hello Kitty no no Tamagotchi no. Hello Kitty I was about to say Minecraft Hello Kitty but yeah that works too they messed up Kurumi's uh thing did they right here? Yeah, why'd they make it purple? They didn't have that color at block. They at the didn't time. have the black color? No, they didn't. <laughs> you're, actually, you're right. Why did, how did they fuck this up? Dude, this, what do you mean? Pronako got the, this, his ears black? <laughs> what do you mean? Apparently, they could have. They, the they got. Yeah, what the fuck? Why did they get Kurumi right? I'm, I'm uh, angry on her this behalf. It's turning slowly into more Hello Kitty uh, video. Okay, you're right. You know what? Back on track. Back here. to the event list. How would this tie into the next event coming to NA? How is this going to tie into the next event coming into N NA or JP at this point? Yes. Uh, I think this has been the year of the collab for Fake Grand Order. 
I think the most thing that makes the most sense is people say, like, what do you possibly collab with next? And they all mention in a oh. lot of fake Grand Order stuff that is, or other fate related things. Oh, yeah, get put in Strange Journey, put in. That might actually be. I bet Strange Journey might actually be the name of the Shin Megami Tensei game and not the Mar Strange Fake. Stra fake Strange, there you go. Get some, fake Strange. Get some fake Strange up in there. I want Face Day Night. I want to know why they were in Fuyuki in the beginning. Nah, Sanrio collab. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty in the it is in the the cup of the cup of kings. That is not what it's called. Cup of kings. It, it is in the Holy Grail. No, it is in the throne of heroes. There we go. <laughs> because if I say anything else wrong, people are going to think that I actually don't know what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, a Hello Kitty collab would obviously be the thing that makes the most sense. It would be cool. I think Hello Kitty has met the prerequisites to be summoned as a servant. I think so. If you think about some of the things we have summoned in the past, such as the Voyager. The Voyager. The nursery rhyme, which is just literal stories. Child, child stories. We have uh, two little rats. That's right, correct. <laughs> we have various little rats in there. I think if you look at the grand steam of all stories. I think it's time for a very big cat. Yes. Yeah, so Hello Kitty is at least on a, a similar pedestal or above Thomas Edison. Damn. I know. Is a bold statement going around here? But Every United States pre president fails in comparison to Hello Kitty. Is this what I think me? so. If you look at the history of Hello Kitty, I think she's helped the world more than every... If anything, all the U.S. presidents, we, we've done a good job of hurting the world. Okay. I see what you're talking but about. But Hello Kitty only heals. Except for when she... Uh, if you only The only negative balance you have is when the Sanrio poll comes out and everyone starts arguing because Cinnamon Rolls won it again. What if the Sanrio poll people influence how Hello Kitty is summoned? Mm, so it means that the version of Hello Kitty that we get would is be... It's very good. different, very war-torn. Berserker Hello Kitty, like Assassin Hello Kitty. Yeah. It'd be funny if we did get different class versions of Hello Kitty and they all look basically the exact same. Well, she could do that. That's her power. Oh, that would be like her servant skill is literally change class. Yeah. Me, just to make uh, people that much angry about Hen Henry Jekyll, not Henry Jekyll, Mr. Jekyll and, no, Mr. Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. That's yeah. why I should have just said it from the beginning. Hello Kitty is a lot like Barbie in that Barbie can be whatever she wants to be. And Hello Kitty can collab with anything she wants to collab. It's true. She ha And she has over the years if you take a look again at that character page a filling of multiple things show me more items there's more we could look at but no we're not gonna do that you know why 2,000 out of the 50 items we have looked at they got their hair color wrong again and maybe maybe they just ran out of budget for Karomi <laughs> <laughs> maybe then maybe it's a different style of shade on yeah maybe it. it's just a different Karomi shading fair very fair but yeah, I think for a first batch of dudes, or if there are going to be more, I think it makes a lot of sense. I do think... I don't know. I still am not 100% sure... Who you would want to see? Yes, but also some of the choices. I think a lot of the choices make sense, but I'm still not sure if... Because when I see Cinnamon Roll, I typically think of it as the most popular character. And, and Marlin's not there? I don't think Marlin's there anymore. I think Merlin, in terms of the early years, he until like maybe yeah, but Cinnamon Roll looks a lot like Fo. Damn. I think if you put it that way, then yes, it one hundred percent makes the most sense. Yeah. <laughs> when you put it that way, I was thinking of it in terms of popularity of like. I was thinking that was uh, that was uh, Fo. That was what they're trying to do. Mm, that makes a lot of sense then then him having him as a partner here makes a lot of sense obviously these two are together because they're making the, these three are together because they're mischief they're mischievous they're mischievous of course and a lot of the other ones are together as well for v the various reasons like i think it makes a lot of sense the the choices they picked here like it thematically it makes a lot of sense maybe except for bad <laughs> Moriarty. What are you talking about? <laughs> we have a very old man who complains about being old. And then we have Bennett Maru who loves playing pinball with his mom. I'm just saying, uh, Bats Maru. We have the evilest guy on here with a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that he couldn't possibly be the Napoleon of crime? The the the, pen, the penguin of crime? No, not if Tuxedo Sam is on the case. <laughs> okay, you got a point there. He would kind of instantly get folded by Tuxedo Sam. Exactly. Um, 
All right, I think that that's basically that's it. That's basically it. This is the collab. If you want to buy it, just get a proxy service to do it. Yeah, that's You a... can do it from the official Sanrio site. Yeah, They're very but... nice. Yes, you can. This is also available from... Is this what it means right here? It's my, available from Monday to Wednesday? Yes. This ends on 9-11? Uh, I think so. Don't forget. And then something about the 10th on Monday. This would be a good idea to pull out the phone and pull out the Google Translate. We need to translate this real quick before we sign off the video. I, we have to do Just in case you made it this far. I doubt you do. We... We yap about a lot. <laughs> this video is clearly just an excuse for us to talk about Hello Kitty and it's Fate Granddaughter. It's clearly just an excuse to talk about Hello Kitty and Fate. And we thank you very much if you made it this way. <laughs> if you want to buy any of these, uh, you can find it somewhere on... Uh, I mean, I'll link the site. You can link the Sanrio site. Pre-sale is starts on uh, 9 seconds to 9-11. Oh, in-store sales. In-store sales. So if you are in Japan... So, you will not get it shipped out till October, oh, near Halloween. Damn. It's kind of rough, but... Um, I mean, it's not the worst. It's not that rough. <laughs> no, considering I ordered something, and I don't think that Nanako plush... <laughs> I don't know when it's still coming in. I pre-ordered that shit a long time ago, <laughs> and I'm still not 100% sure what Yeah, it's... you gotta realize, the United States take, like, what? An entire two years to make something and ship it to you? Pretty close. A lot of the Gunpla Gundam stuff also takes a long ass time as well from what I've looked at. Uh, based off some pre-sale stuff there. So there you go. The pre-orders are open now. Uh, I'll leave the thing below here if you want to check it out for yourself. Thank you very much for just listening to us to talk about uh, talk about this because we just wanted to. <laughs> just you how just realized these are also gotchas. These are blind bags. They're blind bags? If you don't buy it personally, like the ones that are clear file folders, if you want a keychain, these are blind bags. So what you're saying is is that we should do a uh, summon video. It's $50 for one case, but we are guaranteed to get them all, so no. No. So that's the, the what it sounds like is saying is no, we're not doing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are not doing that. We are guaranteed to get them all, is what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, I figure as much. Um... Yeah, check them out. Go get it. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll be back with probably an actual Fago video pretty soon. I have to actually grind the event now. Yeah, you gotta show grinding with the event. Yeah. You gotta show up the new Saber Boy you got. I do. There's a lot of things I have to do, but I took time off specifically just to talk about Sanrio and Fake Grand with a strawberry on his head. Which one? Just move the strawberry on it is very good. All of this is very nice if you just continuously look at it. <laughs> the more you look at it, the more you see. The the apple has an, a, the little saber. The hoja. Yeah. yeah, it has it right there. And the Hello Kitty uh, a little uh, thing at the top is on the crown. Yes, that is. These are all good detail stuff. This is all very nice. Go ahead, what were you going to say? No, yeah, I said it is. Both of these are also mid NP, which I like. Some of them are mid NP, some of them are not. And some of them are just John sitting down with a, a giant creep buff. <laughs> and Ozzy is just kind of in space. That squirrel is combining two nuts together <laughs> to explode the world. Get ready for his takeover. Oh, you're right, he's doing the little pyramid! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you, he's doing the NP with just two uh, sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, that's amazing. Yeah, check these out. Again, I'll leave them <laughs> down, and the video should be releasing tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, it'll be the 7th, Soon. so you have time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, everyone, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Say goodbye, boy. Goodbye. Peace.